Hey guys, I have 10 video marketing ideas that you can implement right now. And these are all the things I've been talking to all my coaching clients. I did review this week in preparation for this call. I went through all of the videos on YouTube and looked at what everybody else is talking about in terms of video marketing and video ideas. And I promise you, these 10 are have nothing to do with anything else that's going on out there. And these are the best ones that my clients are really appreciating and taking action on. So let's get to work. Number one idea for video marketing is, please write this down, expert advice videos. Now, hold on one second. I'm not talking about tips. I'm not a huge fan of tips. I was talking to uh, you know one of my great clients, Zach, today, and we we're kind of doing like you know a listicle video. Here's five tips for buyers. What I found with these kind of tips is the content that's being delivered is not that strong. It doesn't separate you from the pack, and so that's why I'm using the term expert advice. So let's break this down for a second. What I'm noticing is a lot of my coaching clients have really interesting expert advice, ways that they explain things to their buyers and to their sellers that when I hear it, I'm like, wow, that's really good. The way that you explain that, kind of the natural script that you've developed, the analogy, the story. And so, and my clients are noticing that their customers, the buyers and sellers, are really appreciative and are grateful for the knowledge and wisdom that they shared. See, that's what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I want you to capture. So that's step one is to capture. Wow, I, you know, I was talking to a bunch of buyers and all the buyers asked me the same question and I started answering the question this way and it really worked, Patrick. They started really engaging and they actually thanked me for explaining it the way that they did. Good, capture that. Now, step two is I need you to go write it down and I need you to go create a, a document and I need you to kind of start maturing it. What's the question that they ask you? What's the concern that they have? How do you say it? What are the analogies? What's the points that you do? That's next. Then I want you to go do a little research. See, just like I did some research, I was like, I need to do a video on kind of the best ideas for video these days. So what did I do? I went over to YouTube and I went, okay, video marketing ideas. And I went through all of the videos and I did my research and I looked what everybody else was saying. Then I came back to my notes and I was like, yeah, that's good, but this is better. And I learned something from them and I learned something from them, but it now validated some of the things that I'm doing. So, but now here's what's exciting. By the time we get to this point, this, you delivering the video, you delivering the script, the presentation is easy. See, because it's the thing that you've been saying naturally to your clients. Then you did some additional research. Then you did some writing. Now you go deliver. So number one marketing idea, expert advice videos. Number two, time saving videos. Let me explain. One of my great uh, coaching clients, Chris Brower in Layton, Utah. I got him doing a bunch of videos and he said, hey, Patrick, I, I had a client give me a past client, give me a call and they said they wanted to sell their house. So I went over to their house and walked in the door and I said, hey, let's talk about what to do to prepare the home for sale. And they said, Chris, we watched your video on how to prepare your home for sale. We took notes. So we've got a few questions because we already watched your video. Time saver. Then he went to go sit down at the dinner table and to talk to him and he said, let's talk a little bit about the market for sellers. And they said, Chris, don't worry. We watched your last two videos on the housing market. We're up to date. Just tell us what to do and we'll do it. Time saving videos. Now I've been talking a lot of my coaching clients on buyer consultation stuff and how to prepare our clients 
to be able to write offers that'll win in this competitive environment. If you didn't watch that video I published earlier this week on you know working with buyers, I talked a lot about it then, but this saves us time. So between the time that you show property and between the time that you find the perfect property with your, with your buyer, could we share a bunch of video content, educational content on the what, how to write offers that win in today's market, uh, what this whole seller's market is all about, how to negotiate, what you do, what you need to be prepared to negotiate with strength in a competitive environment. Could we share some of that educational video content in advance? So by the time that they see the property with you and they go, hey, we love it. Let's write an offer. Can we do an offer? What do you think? Now, here's the thing I've been telling on my coaching clients is, see, that's usually in the afternoon, late evening. Now you got to go home and from eight o'clock at night to 11 o'clock at night, you're now explaining everything that they now need to know to write an offer that will win and get accepted. See, if we would have done that in advance, we saved a ton of time. You have a better evening. They have less stress. They're more prepared. Spend more time with your kids or have a great time with your puppy, whatever it is. Time saving videos. Number three, interviews with professional services on Zoom. Interviews with professional services on Zoom. I've got a couple things here. Number one, I was having a good conversation with some, some of you know, my great client Zach in Denver and his lender just referred him a great buyer. And I said, well, Zach, when was the last time that you interviewed your lender on your rockstar YouTube channel? And he said, ah, it's been a year. And I was like, why, would, why a year? I'm like, has nothing interesting happened in the last one year with real estate finance? So I smacked him around a little bit. This professional service is referring him business. So let's promote that person back. Let's educate our clients with them. Now let's get to some cool stuff on this topic. Great client of mine, Wes Estes in Virginia. He has been crushing it with his BNI group, Business uh, International, uh, a Business Network International group. And pre in the previous year, he'd only gotten a couple transactions from the BNI. So him and I worked on some great strategies to increase the referral business from the BNI group. And this year he is killing it. So good job, Wes, doing a great job there. And so I said to Wes, I said, Wes, what if we told the whole BNI group that you were going to do once a quarter an interview that you would then share on your YouTube channel, that you would share to all of your past clients center of influence, and maybe we'd share into our geographic farm using the QR code strategy, which I think is really cool and exciting. And now what happens when his business network group is now seeing the opportunity to have an interview with Wes and Wes is going to now promote them to his huge database. <sighs> Do you think he's going to increase the number of referrals he's going to get from the Business Network International Group? The answer is yes. Now, my request to Wes is, look, Wes, you now tell them, hey, I'm going to share my interview with you to my community. And then would you do me a favor, share the video, my video with you to your community. Now, Wes, as a great real estate agent, gets exposure into the professionals network as well. Double winner. Okay. One more additional strategy on this. I was reading a great book uh, by one of my favorite authors, Mr. Russell Brunson. And he asked this question about who has congregated your dream customers? Who has already congregated your dream customers? And I've been thinking about that a lot. So one of my great uh, clients, Brandon Tiffany Hawkins in Dallas over in 
the, uh, the Highland Park area, high-end area. They want to break into the farm. And I was thinking, hmm, guys, what if you interviewed someone who has already congregated your dream customers in this high-end area? Who's already congregated the dream customers? Let's see, the builders, custom builders, the landscape art architects, because when I was, some of you guys know I'm, I'm doing a pool right now, and when my wife and I were looking at pool designs, I happened to be on Instagram, and I happened to see that there's this guy who does super high-end landscape architect in Dallas, and I was checking out his channel, and I was saying, hmm, hey Hawkins, why don't you guys call that guy, and why don't you do a cool interview with the guy that is doing all of the high-end landscape architect in Dallas. Because <sighs> they've already congregated all of their dream customers. Go interview them to get what I'm talking about, you guys. Okay, very cool, interesting strategy. Let's go. Strategy number four. This is one I'm helping a lot of my coaching clients with is, write this down, create an office studio. I was talking to Tom about this just the other day, right? Because Tom is so adamant about pushing all of us as coaches and as uh, all of his clients to do more video. And I said, Tom, I said, one of the easier ways to, for us to get our coaching clients, our friends to do more video is they've got to create this office studio. So what do I mean? Look, guys, I've got my little microphone right here. I've got my lights right there. I've got the light behind me. I got my little background wall of the you know ship that, that looks kind of cool. I got my little Logitech webcam right here, handy dandy. But to be honest, I'm just standing right here in my office. This is my desk, my computer's right here. So I got my points down and it's like, hey, it's time to shoot the video on the 10 marketing ideas. Turning everything on, hit go, we're off and running. Video's going. <sighs> Office studio. See, I want you guys to set up your own office studio. Now, should I improve, you know, uh, and make this a little bit more cool, make it a little bit more professional? Yes, okay? So as I've been studying a lot of the you know successful YouTubers, I'm seeing really cool kind of office studio sets up, sets up with sets up setups with like bookshelves and with plants, with kind of cool angles, with some art in the back. Great guys, set it up, keep it simple, so we can get more video content done. Let's go number five. Number five, this is a YouTube video hack, okay? A lot of my friends and coaching clients, including myself, what I noticed was when I posted a really good video onto YouTube, I'd get varying degrees of view counts. And so I started looking into how to increase view counts and how to increase subscribers. And here's the very, very simple hack. When you publish a new YouTube video, Make sure that same day you send an email out to your database with the video. That is huge. What the experts are saying is that YouTube, in the first 24 to 48 hours of the video being published on YouTube, it's reading all of the um, customer interaction and all of the interaction there and co collecting all of its data set. And if you really put get a lot of exposure on it, it reads the customers and it knows exactly who to go share that with organically. So 24 hours, new video, you push hard with your YouTube video and that'll increase your view count and the organic exposure. Good idea. Number six, I want all of my coaching clients and you for every video that you do on an expert advice topic, we need to create an email template of that topic. Here's, imagine, imagine this. You've got 12 videos, 12 email templates of these important topics. 
some of your best insights, some of your best videos, some of the most valuable questions you're answering, some of the best case studies of things that you're doing that are awesome. You've got 12 videos, 12 email templates. Now, in 12 videos, that's 90 days of a drip campaign if you sent an email once a week. 90 days. So imagine if you bought some cold, inexpensive leads or if you had some old leads in your database and you just put the cold, cold leads on a 12-week drip campaign with an email, with a video of some of your best content. Do you think that we could probably get some calls from that? Do you think we'd probably get some good responses from that? Do you think we can probably turn some of those cold leads into warm leads with that drip campaign? Yes. So work on your email templates with your video content and let's build amazing drip campaigns for you into the future. All right, let's go. Number seven is, you've heard me say this before, I did an entire video, but it's worth repeating again, TubeBuddy. My friends, TubeBuddy, if you're going to do a little bit of SEO research, this is super important. Now, let me give you an example of, of this, okay? This is very simple. I had some ideas about some really good advice that I've been giving to some of my coaching clients about video content. And so I was like, all right, well, I had wrote, written down some notes following my own advice. And then I was like, well, let me go into TubeBuddy. And I went into TubeBuddy and I wanted to do some research. Well, what's kind of a trending hot topic right now in video creation for real estate agents? And so I started doing SEO keyword research in TubeBuddy regarding video marketing, real estate video ideas, you know, best realtor video tips, blah, blah, blah. And I was just kind of writing in some different things and TubeBuddy saying, no, not very good. Yeah, that's decent. No, not any good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I wrote in one and I saw, and guess what the title was? The title was 10 video marketing, marketing ideas for real estate agents. So TubeBuddy is like, hey, this, I clicked it. TubeBuddy said, Patrick, this is a 10 out of a 10. Awesome video title to do. So what do you think I'm doing right now, guys? See, TubeBuddy is the one that told me that this title topic was the right one to do, that this would get the most organic exposure, that this had the most number of agents interested in this title topic. So you can see TubeBuddy is invaluable in what I would refer to as consumer behavior research. Now, hold on for a second. See, one of the big problems I see with real estate agents is in the real estate industry, we think in terms of real estate terminology. And the real estate terminology that we used for we use, for example, like the term listing property, multiple listing service, listing property. That is an industry term. The average homeowner doesn't think in terms of MLS listing property. They think of going on the market, selling my house. See, there's different words and different phrases that the customer uses very different than what we in the industry use. So my friends, advanced strategy. When you're on TubeBuddy, I want you learning more about the customer's language, the way that the, they phrase their questions, the way that they phrase things. That is really important research for all of our marketing initiatives and our video titles and content, my friends. So please don't underestimate that. Last thing, with TubeBuddy, it's the SEO studio. If you, have, if you have a YouTube channel that's completely underperforming, you need to get TubeBuddy, you need to go to your channel, you need to open up SEO studio, and you need to go optimize all of your old videos. And it all starts with step one, which is keyword research. 
what is the title, the topic of the video, and does that title topic have a little bit of search volume or a lot of search volume? Meaning, do your buyers, your sellers, your perfect customers, are a lot of them interested in this title topic or very few people interested in this title topic? And so you need to go in and do the research on SEO Studio. And then when you find the right, the right words and the phrase and the right question, then you're going to optimize the video using SEO Studio. And I promise you, I did that with like 20 of my videos. All of a sudden, my view counts went up 30% in 30 days. Great hack. Good. Number eight. Let's go. Number eight. I wrote this down. I learned this from Daryl Eves, and he said, go to a competitor's YouTube channel. Okay. So there's so many great agents now starting to get in the game on YouTube and they're doing some amazing stuff. So make sure that you do some research on that, but go to their channel. And then when you're on their channel, you'll see across the board, it says kind of like the latest uploads and then it says videos and it says like about me and you know, a couple other things. But when you see videos, I want you to click videos. And what that does is it changes the channel to their latest videos going down the screen in chronological order. So you can see from the last video that they uploaded all the way down to the first video. And for successful YouTubers channels, that's very interesting to do that. So you can kind of see the history and you can see the progress. You can see their thumbnails. You can see all the titles. Oh, you can also see the view counts of those videos. Now here's the hack. So after you select videos and you set that up, then go over, over on the right side of the screen and you'll see there's a little drop down and you hit the drop down and it'll say sort by most popular. Ah, so if you go to a great real estate agent YouTuber that you are impressed with and you want to do some research, go to their channel, go to the videos, hit sort by most popular. And now it'll pre-organize the videos by the most popular videos. So as Tom says, R and D rip off and duplicate, go look at their video of the most popular videos. That means that that title, that content is incredibly popular and valuable that the performance of that video has done really well. Study it, learn from it, Make sure that you as a real estate professional are saying some of the things that they're saying. Maybe they're saying things to their buyers and sellers that you need to learn because it's really being, it's very successful right now. Great research for all of us, but it's also a way for you to now build a great list of incredibly awesome videos for you to do next. Okay. A little YouTube hack. All right. Number nine. I recommend you just get the book, uh, Daryl Eves book, the YouTube formula, Daryl Leaves YouTube formula, get the book. I am on page 158 right now and we're just getting into content. This is phenomenal. Daryl Leaves is easily one of the foremost experts in helping people grow and expand their, their YouTube uh, channels, their view counts, their subscribers. Um, he, you know, as I'm reading the book, shout out to uh, Christina uh, Longhorn. She is a real estate agent who now has, who I've been watching. She now has over a hundred thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel, right? I'm, I'm sorry, Christina Smallhorn, forgive me. And funny enough, I'm reading the book in Daryl Eves and Daryl makes reference to how he helped Christina identify a topic that would dramatically increase her view counts and also her subscribers. And I've been watching her stuff for quite a while and I saw her do a significant jump. Lo and behold, Daryl Eves is one of the ones that was consulting her on how to do that. So if you want some evidence of a real estate agent who's crushing it, she's probably making now I don't know, with that 100,000 subscribers, 
she's probably making five to $10,000 a month from her YouTube channel videos. Hey, my friends, how much money did Facebook pay you for all of the content that you created? How much did Instagram pay you for all of the content that you created? Did, did they pay you? Did, did, I, I, I've never gotten any money. How much content did they pay you? See, this is one of the things that I like about YouTube is if you do a good job on YouTube, they'll create a financial relationship with you and then they'll pay you to go create videos. Is Facebook and Instagram doing that for you guys right now? Hmm, no, they're just making trillions of dollars on you making more content. YouTube at least is saying, hey, if you get good at this, this thing and we run ads on your videos, let's create a relationship and they'll give you up to 50% of the ad revenue that they're collecting on your video. See, I don't know, that just sounds like a better platform for me, you know, to spend some time on. I don't know about you guys. All right, number 10, get off my soapbox there. Number 10. <clears throat> Write this down, please. Write down, commit to becoming an inbound agent. An inbound agent? Patrick, what is that? So, you know how Brian Buffini says the by referral only, okay? By referral only. What does that mean by referral only? It means that basically it's saying that you only work with people who introduce you to other people. Right? And what that's inferring is, is that A, you do a great job and that B, you're someone that's highly referable. And let's be honest, guys, it's just a lot better to work with people that have been referred to you by people that know you, like you, trust you. Right? So the concept of by referral only is great. That's why the, the referral system has been very successful over the years. So let's debrief this. Inbound only. What is inbound only? So this is a concept that I started really looking at. I brought it up in my uh, increase your referrals bit, uh, video a couple, a couple weeks back. Inbound only means that you work with people who've watched one, two, three, four, five, six of your videos already. And they called you, text you, emailed you, DM'd you because they've already watched a bunch of your content. They already understand your style. They already appreciate and respect your knowledge, wisdom, and expertise. They already understand your quirks, what you're good at, what you're not, your, the funny behaviors that you do. They've already bought into you as a real estate expert. And then they reached out to you and asked you a question and asked you if they can help you. Commit to becoming an inbound agent. My friends, this is the game, so let's have some fun. Make sure that you have subscribed to my once a week coaching email. So jump down below and make sure that you're on the email. I'm sending as you probably, maybe if you saw this from my email, so make sure you give that a thumbs up. And if you're seeing this and you're not on my weekly email, that's where I'm going to be promoting all of my content, promoting all the latest things that I'm doing. So if you want to jump on that, just go down below, put your, put your name and email on the list, and I'll send you the next one. Hope you guys enjoy. Have an awesome day. Go get some video done.